In this video, given the area, given an area of uh, of 20 and the radius of 7, we we have to somehow work backwards to find the angle. Let's call it theta. So, here we've given the arc length of 5. So this length here is 5 and the radius is 7. We have to somehow work out the angle. Okay? So, Let's start with this first. So um, in the previous video, we've seen that um, the area of the sector, let's call it S, equals um, pi r squared, and then we would cut up into 360 equal pieces, and then we would times um, times this many pieces. So this many pieces being theta. So theta represents the, the angle. So our job is to work out theta. So in, in this video we've got to work backwards to find theta. Well anyway, we know that the area hang on, let me clear this up. We know that the um we know that um this area here is twenty. So we can put twenty into here. So that would then become that would then become um twenty equals pi well the radius is seven so uh, so that would be 7 squared over 360 and then when you multiply a fraction it get well um, here you put a fraction when you multiply a fraction it gets multiplied to the top so the theta gets multiplied to the top giving you this so remember our job is to work out theta this theta here so let's tidy this up this then becomes 49 because 7 times 7 is 49 number always first so it's going to be 49 pi and then you've got your theta over 360 equals the area which is 20 um, so now it's just a matter of working out theta so times both sides by by um, by 360 so that would be um, uh, 720 uh, 49 pi theta so remember our job is to get theta on its own so now divide both sides by 49 pi uh, divide both sides by 49 pi oh this thing here should be an extra zero so that would be uh, 7200 over 49 pi equals theta so punch this into your calculator that will then give you theta theta represents represents the angle represents this angle here okay so um so we we can just um we can just leave us this okay all right so now for the arc length so here we've got an arc length of 5 so this length here is 5 and the radius is 7 so same idea use algebra so we know that um we know that the arc length equals 2 pi r which is 7 here, so I'm just going to put 7 in here and then cut up into 360 equal pieces so cut this up into 360 equal pieces and then if you if you get this many pieces times theta it will then give you the arc length well we, we were told that the arc length is 5 so we can put the 5 into the arc so that would be 5 equals um, equals well I'm just going to merge these two blocks together so uh, so that would be 14 because they're all being multiplied with each other 2 times pi times 7 well let's let's merge the 2 and the 7 together to give us 14 and then we've got our pi here 360 and when you multiply a fraction it gets multiplied to the top so the, the theta gets multiplied to the numerator so that will then give you theta here so remember our job is to get um, is to get theta on its own so now times um, times both sides by um, by 360 so that would be this times this and then uh, and then that will then give us 14 pi theta and then now uh, now to get theta on its own so here you've got one block multiplying another block multiplying another block so let's let's just imagine this as being one block so now um, now now to get theta on its own divide both sides by 14 pi so that would be 360 times 5 whatever that may be and then divided by 14 pi 
that will then give you theta. So the angle is given by this thing here. So punch this into your calculator, and uh, that will then represent the uh, the angle here. So when you have that angle there, it will give you an arc length of five. Okay.